Hello everyone, the Toy Reviews here, and this is a review of the LEGO Nexo Knights, the Fortrex. So this is a very unique set for Nexo Knights. Considering Nexo Knights' whole thing of grabbing medieval things and combining with modern technology, this is basically a mix of a fort and a tank. It may sound crazy, but trust me, it actually works really well. So this set includes 7 minifigures, Clay's Night Cycle, Aaron Fox's Aero Striker version 1, the Fire Skeeto Chariot, and the Fortrex itself. So, let's get on with this review. So, over here you have the good guys of the set. You have the three knights, Aaron, Clay, and Axel, and you have Chef Eklar. So let's start with Aaron over here. You can see he has the Nexo power of superhuman speed, which scan that now. Alright. He has his blazer bow over here, and if you take off his armor, which let me try to do, you can see the full detail on him, and you can see that his symbol is a fox. And you can see the back printing over here, and let's put that back in, and you can see his cheery face over here, and you have his normal face over here. So that is Aaron. You have Clay over here, which he has his gray sword and the Nexo power of Hawk Holler, and scan that if you want. All right, and you can take off his weapons. You can see he has his normal face over here, and then he has a war face over here. And you can see his armor over here, which the armor is basically the knight's color with silver. You can see his symbol is an eagle. And on the back, you can see his back printing. Next, you have Axel, who is the most unique of the Nexo Knights. Because of the fact that his chest piece is different since he's supposed to be basically a hulking giant. And you can see his arms over here are actually removable. Because of the fact that this is a different mold for the chest. You have his power axe over here. You have his Nexo power of ground pound, so scan that if you want. Alright. And basically... You take off his helmet, he has his normal face over here. And then he has his face for when you don't give him food for some time. And you can see over here that his symbol is the bull. And you can't take off the armor because if you try to, you'll take off the entire chest piece from the legs. Which, let me snap this back in. There it is. Whoops. And over here you have Chef Eklar, and he's basically a robo-chef. So you have his articulation over here, which works a bit differently from normal main figures, since all of you know how LEGO main figures work in articulation. You can actually spread out his hand so he can hit an enemy with his pan. You have these sort of Ninjago skeleton legs from 2011. You have the chef hat over here, and you have his face with a mustache and everything. He sort of looks like Mario. And on the back, there's basically nothing. So that's basically it for the good guys of the set. Now to take a look at the villains of the set. Now to take a look at the villains of the set, the lava monsters. So over here you have the lava monsters for the set. You have the ash attacker over here in the middle and two scurriers. So let's take a look at one scurrier since the other one is the same thing with another face. You can see that this one is holding dynamite and you can see that it has buck teeth over here make a goofy face. You can see it has horns over here and on the back you have a tail. And there's not much to it, you can only really move its arms. And the other one has a spear. But over here is the Ash Attacker. 
Now over here, you could see that it shares a similar helmet to, I think you call it like the magma monster. It was that giant black monster that comes in the set with the queen. And you can see that it has a similar head to him, but you can actually take this off. You can see he has a grumpy face and a war face. And you could grab the blade over here and look at it in more detail. It's basically a blade that you could hold both ways. You could basically put it up like this, like a sword, or you could put it like a tonfa. And over here, you actually have the Book of Evil over here. You can see it has a purple cover. And it has that same monster I was talking about coming out of it. Since in Nexo Knights, what happens is that the Book of Monsters actually absorbs other books. And then the Book of Monsters can summon lava monsters. So that's basically it for the villains of the set. So now let's get into the mini part of the set, the Chariot. So over here you have the chariot and it's nothing really special. Now what you can do is that you could grab the ash attacker over here and let me remove his weapons first. And you could place him on to ride the chariot. And the scourgers can actually ride it as well. You can lift the horns back or put them forward. Or you could put them like this, like a bull. Which basically this is, this is supposed to look like a bull. And over here, you can see a missile function in which you actually grab a stun and then put it in. And if you press in the back, it actually fires out. And each one of these actually has a different face, but I only have one with me for now for the review. And you can actually close the mouth so it looks more like a bull. And you can open it so it looks like it's basically yelling and coming after someone. And that's really it for the chariot. So now, let's get on to the Vortex itself. So first we'll take a look at the outside of the Vortex. And you can see that it's basically a castle on wheels. The main function over here is that you can grab it, and you can roll it along like a tank. And there's even back wheels to support it in the back. So you have these turrets over here, which can be used to fire these missiles, which I'm not going to fire because they're studs and I don't want to lose them. Over here you have the drawbridge, and if you grab this knob in the back, it actually lowers down. And it has chains similar to drawbridges of ancient times. And over here, let me take off this piece is actually the Arrow Striker version 1, which is actually part of the Vortex. And this is mainly used by Aaron, and it's a sort of jet vehicle. And basically the main function is that if you grab this orange button over here, it fires. And this missile is actually pretty hard, so don't hit anyone in the eyes, kids. Now to place that back here. And there is actually a version of the Arrow Striker, a much bigger version of it, the V2, which is actually part of the Summer Wave. And once you open the drawbridge, you can actually see Clay's motorcycle over here. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a motorcycle or a car, but it's sort of a hybrid of both. And there's actually a clip over here in order to place the Nexo Shield, or any weapon actually. And you can actually flip down the wings and you can have this flying away, sort of like the Lightning Cruiser from Power Rangers Turbo. So you place that back here. And here you have the side of the Vortex. Now before we get onto the side, there is a button in the back which is, which is used to unlock the inside of the Vortex. However, there is a missile over here which if you push it in, you really weren't able to see it, but this missile came out. And there's actually two more of these included. And it's located all the way down here. And it actually fires pretty well. So over here is the side of the Vortex. And you can see the back wheels over here. The line symbol. You may have noticed already that there are various shields surrounding the Vortex. And you have more missiles over here. These time these can move left to right. And you actually maneuver them from inside. And you can even grab them with your finger outside. And you can flip them all around, 360. So it's sort of like a revolver. 
And on the back over here, you have the two doors over here which open up in order to reveal the inside of the Vortex. And over here you actually have the, the minifigure for Murloc 2.0. And you can basically see that he's nothing really special. This I don't think this was even a sticker. When I got it, this was already like pasted on here. So this is just basically a tile and that's it. There's no actual minifigure, but if you do buy the Nexo Knights, I think it was Visual Dictionary or something like that, you can actually grab the minifigure version of him. The version of him before he got trapped in the computers. And the other side is basically the same thing. And that's really it for the outside of the Vortex. So now, let's take a look at the inside of the Vortex. So, as you may have remembered earlier, I used this knob over here in order to fire the missile in the front. Now you're going to grab the same knob and turn it to the right or the left, whichever way, and you're going to open it up. And over here you have the inside of the Vortex. And I like that LEGO did this feature, because in the show, the inside of the Vortex is basically supposedly about the size of a house. And while this isn't exactly accurate because you have to actually open it up, it's still a nice feature for kids in order to treat this like a playset. And it adds to the play value of this as it's not just one giant vehicle. It's like the Destiny's Bounty, a vehicle but also a base. And you can see that the inside of the Vortex also includes a bunch of items. You can see Clay's Technic Caliber, which is basically a blue version of his Grey Sword. And you can see the Charging Station over here. You have a Training Dummy, which I actually really like this minifigure. You have a sort of robot-esque face over here. And then you have a Cherry Face, which just looks funny to me. And then over here you can actually spin the body. And you can place this back in. It's sort of hard to do because of the arms. You have the target over here, which Aaron can use to practice his bows. And all of these can actually fold down while in there. Over here you have Murloc, which I just show you. And then basically, when you put the chairs in and you move Murloc forward and back, he can actually open up the chairs over here and all the knights could sit down and have a Justice League meeting or something. And over here you actually have two new Nexo powers. You have Chicken Power, and I forgot the name of this power but I'll leave the name below. And you can scan them if you want. Alright, and you can actually fold them down and up while they're in here. And over here, you can actually open it up and reveal a chicken leg in order to feed a hungry Axel. In case you didn't know, Axel's main thing is that he's always hungry, similar to Coda from Dino Charge. Funny enough, both shows are airing at the same time. And that's basically it for the inside of the Vortex. Oh wait, before I forget, you have a computer over here. And you also have the prison over here in case you want to imprison any villains. But overall, that's really it for the Vortex. Is it a good set? Well, here are my final thoughts. So overall, the Vortex is an impressive set, and I would highly recommend it if you're a Nexo Knights fan. The $100 is worth it for everything. The minifigures, the little vehicles that you get, and the Fortrex itself. It just has so much to do that you can spend hours playing with this thing. And I like how basically it's taking the whole concept of this ain't your daddy's Lego castle and ranking it up to the next level. This set is just overall fantastic, and you should definitely pick it up. Heck, I actually say it beats out the entire Skybound wave of Ninjago. So that's all for this video. I'm the Toy Views, and I'm signing off. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hello, everyone. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like,
comment, and subscribe for more content. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, and Tumblr. You can click on the top to check out the previous review or the next review. Thanks for watching, and make sure to have a super mega dino charge day. Well, see you guys next time!